Hey everyone, welcome to the Pace Studio in New York City. We're here with Jade Bird, all the way from London. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> ah, thank you very much, cheers. What's the first song you're going to play for us today? Uh, something American. Can't see you because of the mic, I'm like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Which is also the title of your new EP. It certainly is, yeah. Excellent. Yep. Well, feel free to launch into it whenever you're ready. Amazing, thank you so much. We knew each other when we were very young High school sweethearts were something American Now we become old, I only see photos She's what I thought, something American Something American But you don't come Again, that was the title track. Um, mm -hmm. But you're British. I certainly am, yes. Yes, although the American accent does differ sometimes. <laughs> I am British. Uh, now, yeah, yeah. So uh, we came over um, from the UK. Like, we're, I kind of wanted to make this EP. I wanted to do it with, like, real instruments almost. I got a big passion for, like, the, the 60s stuff and just really old, simple, simple music, basically. And I don't know bells and whistles, so to speak. But uh, yeah, so we found Simone Felis, or Simon. We're not too, I, I'm not too sure he goes by both. So, but I always say Simone, because it sounds fancy. <laughs> sounds fancy, girl. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we went over and recorded and recorded the EP, and pretty much we got 70% uh, of the album, and uh, it's been going just really seam seamless, smoothly. I'm live as seamlessly, well. Seamlessly, smoothly, can't yes. Get, can't get this wrong as both. well. Like, smoothly, seamlessly, <laughs> all, of, all of above. <laughs> What, what was it like working with him though? Uh, he's, you know, a friend of Pace. We've worked yeah. with him before. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, he's a he's a magical human being, as you know. It's it's great because uh, I remember my manager first time we had the call because it's obviously overseas. We took a bit of a leap of faith. He's like, oh, he sounds quite. God, sounds like a hippie. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, really? But I swear to God, we got up there and it was just amazing. He's like, he's like all for the vibes. But then when you need to crack down on something, he's like so professional and listens to. I think it was important to be listened to. 
I, I know it sounds it's a tiny thing, but I think it's just so crucial in any making of any record to actually be heard in your, your opinions. I think too many, and it's a female thing as well, too many females may, might feel like they can't speak up, you know, while they're making their own record, which is pretty sad. So well, I'm very vocal. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't afraid. <laughs> no, no. So, yeah, it's been, the whole process has been a total dream. Awesome. In all honesty, yeah. That's that sounded awesome. very rehearsed, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have, I have a follow-up question on that then. Yeah. So, the album is called Something American. Yeah, Again, you're yeah. established. <clears throat> mm-hmm. You are not American. Yes. Tell me something... That's more of a statement than a question, but I would. You are not. I'm American. wondering, <laughs> <laughs> no what worries. is something American, musically speaking, that um, that you really respect? And mm-hmm. because we are having a bit of a rough go of it at the moment politically, well, I know, not what off. is something American that you resent yeah. at this moment? That I resent. Um, something American, I think, to me, is always like it's fascinating. I think the mentality over here, you have like this fearlessness. Um, fearlessness is that right? The word. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, it's been a, it's been a long morning. No, I'm joking. Um, but yeah, no, you have this kind of go, you know, go for it, or you know, nothing happens kind of mentality. And I've always been, you work for what you get, and if you work as hard as possible, you know, good things will happen. And I feel that's really rewarded over here. You know, if you if you're willing to work hard, people want to work with you. And that's I'm not saying it's not in the UK. I just think there's a kind of this hyper energy here sometimes that I really admire and I'm, I'm excited to be a part of you know and obviously my the Americano influences that I I love you know Towns Van Zandt and Gillian Welch and all these really classic people I just lean towards like and Civil Wars as well a bit more of a contemporary uh, influence I just think there's something about um lately Americana artists that I've really related to totally. I, I have nothing against British artists <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, what's the next song you're going to play for us today? Uh, okay, so this one's um, Cathedral. Actually, I might play what I'm here for first. Should go a bit sad and then a little bit happier. All right. Yeah, this is a bit of a sad one. It's called, uh, probably the saddest song I've written. It's called What Am I Here For? So don't leave us just yet. <laughs> oh, this is sad. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Wrap your arms and hold me still I don't want to think about what I will Speak in tones that I can hear And tell me how no one knows anything in here Is it any wonder I tried? Is it any wonder I tried? Cause I thought we were so much more I thought you wanted what I want So complete If I'm not here to love you, what am I here for? I didn't know how to begin So I wore a dress that was sequined I wanted to say that I adore I'm not here to love you, what am I? 
looking to your eyes, so I look to follow. You started looking to your eyes, so I look to follow. You started looking to your eyes, so I look to follow your eyes and your eyes. You know she was in between. Something out of heaven and a holy dream. Is it any wonder I cried? Is it any wonder I cried? Cause I thought we were so much more. I thought you wanted what I want. So completely I did. I'm not here to love you. What am I here for? Thanks, guys. <laughs> this quick one might need to borrow the. We might do a live tuning. Is that, is that interesting? Oh, I borrowed their pace of guitar. Thank you so much, guys, for letting me borrow your guitar. <laughs> I feel very Johnny Cash in it, actually. Maybe I could be Johnny Cash for a bit. <laughs> Alright, you do Johnny Cash, I'll do my best. Like, yeah. <laughs> John Lennon, actually. That sounds alright, really cool. actually. Yeah, Let's sorry, I was just like, uh, in my own world then. Two, two, two one. as you need. That's it's alright, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. It's alright, guys. Is it, yeah. it's okay? I think they're still here with us. I think you're okay. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> um, tell us a little bit about your musical background. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, you mentioned all of those great... Yeah. classic Americana artists, yeah. but you know, did you grow up um, singing, any sort of uh, training? When did you start playing guitar? What yeah. in your musical career led you to Towns Van Zandt? Uh, it's a tricky one, because uh, my parents, well, I've said this before, but uh, my parents were into like dance music, like proper dance music as well, like no messing about, like Prodigy and Chemical Brothers. Like I, when I was little, it used to kind of thud through the floor, like dunce, 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 <laughs> and I'd be like in tears because I couldn't join in. That was kind of my childhood because I've got very young parents. But uh, yeah, so that's a bit unrelated to how I came across Towns Van Zandt. But um, yeah, when I it's was- It's totally related. <laughs> yeah, it's six it's degrees no of way, separation. No <laughs> yeah, isn't it? Um, no, but when I was seven or eight, I started uh, playing the piano, uh, I classic classically, so, um, yeah, I didn't. I didn't start writing on piano until a, a year ago. And obviously, we'll be playing it. Little, playing it in the show tonight at the Rockwood. See that plug Excellent. by there? Uh, no. To it. <laughs> no, and then I picked up uh, my mum. My mum's old partner uh, used to introduce me to like blues, um, black and motorcycle clubs. One of my favourite uh, bands. I've seen them like four times, and I was so obsessed. Um, I used to watch him play the guitar, and I was just kind of transfixed. So I picked it up when I was twelve and taught myself how to play a couple of chords and started writing and gigging wherever I could. And then I think I was like 15, I think I stumbled out of the blues at Junior Kimbrough and um, Sun House. I stumbled kind of from there to like the Civil Wars and Chris Stapleton at 15. I don't know how I came across him, but I was just obsessed from there. And obviously that's where the country thing really kicked in. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a huge range of music. Like my whole life I've been very surrounded by all different kinds really. Because that's, that's the best way to be. Yeah, totally. <laughs> well, we'll look forward to the next EP with some like uns, uns, uns in the background. Yeah, a prodigy feature. Uh, absolutely. If you're watching. <laughs> yeah. We've got yeah. one more for us today, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, um, it's called Cathedral. It's about running away from a wedding. I haven't done that quite yet. Watch out, guys. <laughs> Each other and wonder why 
We ever promised until we died And I swore that I'd never leave you behind But I've seen the light, oh I've seen the light You made me feel so safe I recall it like it's yesterday Arranged like a thought out maze I tried but couldn't find a way out I was screaming out Then you told me that we were bound Out, I was screaming out Now all I hear is the sound I heard it from the aisle of the cathedral Baby, I was gonna break your heart Hidden in the back of something evil Knew we had to stop before we started to torture each other and wonder why We ever promised until we died And I swore that I'd never leave you behind But I've seen the light, oh I've seen the light Said I've seen the light, oh I've seen the light Hey, <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> well, you already said while we've been live, you're playing a show at Rockwood. Yeah, see, I was on it then. <laughs> on it. So I'm just, you know, Born to reiterating plug. it so yeah, that no. everyone here Cheers. in New York is aware. Um, free show tonight at Rockwood. Yeah. Um, and then headed back to the UK, is that right? No, we're going down no. to Nashville for a bit. Oh. Yeah, Brent, my, my buddy Brent Cobb, gonna. Gonna play some shows and then playing the Bluebird. Should be lovely. That's yeah, thank very you very exciting. much. Yeah, it's gonna be good. I'm extremely excited. I want to go fishing. <laughs> you can still do that in England, right? Yeah, but you know, bigger fish. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Jade Bird here with us today. A new EP called Something American. Catch her live at Rockwood tonight. Thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you with so us much today. for having me. I really appreciate it.